Greetings from Jim, age 6 if We're going to see if we can get anything from the space station. The ISS is about to make a pass. Seven seconds. It's coming up on Southern California. There goes the timer. All right, I've got a couple things. I've got 145825 turned in on my APRSI gate here. And we're going to start sending him a message on APRS. I'm also listening to the up downlink frequency of 43755 as well as 145800 over here on my 2 meter 440 rig. I've got a little I've got the squelch open. I've also got the squelch open on the 145825. So first of all, let's go over here and I'm running on my APRSI gate on Exaster. I got the message box set up. I'm sending to RS0 ISS and we're going to hit the send now button. And uh, we'll start uh, beaconing a message. It's going to come out on my, my tiny track 4 APRSI gate on 145825. That's uh, where we're coming up over the horizon. I've also got um, let's see here if I can move the screen. I've got one of the video feeds from the station itself. Oops, this one, this window. Oh, let's see. It was moving, it just stopped. Uh, I'm not sure if I can maybe refresh, get that to go again. No. Maybe, maybe not. We'll see. Now while that's refreshing, we'll go back over to uh, to our disaster. We're going to be looking for a response down here. Um, I can kick the timer until it go again. We'll get a good transmit light there. Not hearing anything at all on uh, 145800 or the 43755. Maybe we'll put a call out on 43755. Okay, here we go. We got... Let's go to this side of the radio. Uh, RSO ISS from AG6I of Southern California calling 437.550. RSO ISS from AG6 IF Southern California calling 437550. AG6 IF clear. Okay, not hearing anything right now. Keep monitoring. No messages coming back yet. If we kick the timer again. Beacon out. And 45825. We're getting close to being directly overhead. And let's see if we can, uh, if we got our live feedback. like if this is live feed it's uh, cloudy in Southern California <laughs> all right very good that's my uh, station sending its uh, regular 10-minute beacon not hearing anything yet I do have a QSL card from the space station from APRS that's good
800 is nothing so far. And 437.55, not hearing anything either. Squelch is open. I think you can hear that. Uh, we're directly overhead. I'm using the uh, ISS tracker on my tablet here. And now we're going outbound, starting to go outbound. I do hear very faintly, let me turn down 800 and 437.5, and we'll turn up my APRS a little bit. I do hear faintly a signal in there. I have not decoded anything as of yet. It's a really nice pass though, it's right overhead. That's my transmission. You can hear the APRS. I squelch that out a little bit. Okay, now we're just listening for APRS. There's my transmission there. Outbound, leaving the area, but it's still well, uh, well reachable. See the uh, position stations right there. We uh, listen for any packets to come back. Once in a while, I do get one. Uh, it'll uh, usually say uh, RSO ISS, A, uh, ARISS, uh, International Space Station. Seeing if we can work the ISS on this Friday, October 14th today. Not hearing anything. So that's generally how I do it. I work uh, APRS, looking for a beacon coming back or a response. Uh, listen on 145800, also on 437550. Eight degrees above the horizon at this point. Nice long pass today. Probably getting about to the point where it's probably not workable, but um, you got to give it a try, right? My APRS I gate is a FT2900 connected up to a tiny track 4, which is a USB serial to my over to my Shack PC, which is running Linux. I'm running XASTIR, Exaster. 
think that's how you say it. I've got this running on VHF and I've got another copy running on HF. If you've seen some of their videos on 30 meters, that runs off of a 718 and an SCS tracker. 10147.300, worldwide APRS right there. That's a nice little station. I've got a mag loop in the back. I can spin it around and right now it's pointing east and west. Gets all the way into Mediterranean and to, uh, of course, uh, South America, East Africa. All right, it just flew over the horizon. No luck this time. But uh, anyway, that's how I work the uh, space station. Well, thank you for watching. Maybe next time we'll get a we'll get a beacon. Uh, this is Jim AG6IF73 from Southern California.